how about books or book chapters? Okay, so entire books. If we look at entire books, here's an example. We have the author, which is again going to be the last name, first name, middle name, the year, the title of the book, and its underline or italic, and then the location of the publisher. That is, where's the city the publisher's in, and what's the publisher's name? Now, this is a little bit confusing. Why do we have this? We don't have enough time in this class to explain everything why, and I'm not sure I understand everything why the APA does what it does. However, traditionally, it has been the case that to know the book's volume or where it was printed and when it was printed would be helpful in finding the book. Today, you know that's not so true because books can be printed in different places. They can be e-books. They can be reprinted very easily. So, in the case of the MLA style, they've gotten away from this, but APA still does use this for books. And sometimes it can be troublesome. If you have a book and you don't really know where it's published at, usually when you open the book and you look inside the first page or the first couple pages, it will have a location there. Sometimes they have multiple locations. They may say London, New York. Maybe use the first one and stick with that. Also, the date of publication should be in that first page. That's probably the best way to look for it. So here's an example of online, and we're using a URL. And again, it's very similar, only instead of a location and a publisher, what do we have? We have this retrieve from two words, and then we have the URL. Another way we could do this is, again, the same approach, only at the end, here's the period, we're all over. What do we do? We add DOI, the Document Object Identifier. So that is another way. There you go, three different ways that you can do that. There's another case where you have a book, very common in academics, and the book is a collection of articles or a collection of uh, chapters. And those chapters, each one of them has different authors. So each one of them is like a paper and the whole book is kind of like a journal. Now how do we do that? In that case, we can see here that we begin with this at the beginning. Who's the editor of the book? Usually these books will have one or more editors. And again, you treat it just like always. The editor, the name goes here, the surname, the last name, then the first name, then the middle name. And then here we have a little parentheses with capital E, small d, period. That means editor. And then don't forget a period here. I know this is really kind of getting out of control. It's getting to be, you know, a little bit boring. If you look at this right now, you've got the period here, you've got the parentheses, you've got another period, you've got a space. I know, it's like, whoa, it's too much, I can't take it. Just follow the rules and actually it will get easy after a little while. If it's an editor, you use the ED period. If it's an author, you do it this way. If it's a year and you put the parentheses, you have a period and a space after. Once you get used to it, it'll all kind of fall in this place. Don't ask me why it's done this way. And don't even ask me to look at other styles like Chicago and all these other ones that could be even more complicated than this. So just be happy we have the APA that can at often times have at least clear rules that we can follow, even though they can give us a big headache in the process. So pay attention to that. It's not an easy thing to remember off the top of your head, I'll tell you that much. How about a chapter in a book? Okay, now, this is a different case than what we just looked at. What we just looked at here was a whole book. And the book is uh, an editor, which means it's a collection, but the whole book is what we are referencing. A chapter in a book is a little bit different, is that one chapter is the part we're referencing. They may have 10 chapters, 11 chapters, and each chapter is written by a different author. So let's take a look at that. So here is the author. This is the author of the chapter. And here's the second author of the chapter. Here's the year of the book. And then here is the title of the chapter. And please look at that. It's just like the title of the a journal article. The first letter is capitalized, and then the rest are lower case, period. Then you say in, 
capital I N, and then you put the editor. However, here you can see a little bit special here, A, and then editor. So what does this mean? A is the editor's first name. Editor here is the editor's last name. Comma, here's the second editor. There could be many editors to a book. B is the first name. Editor is the last name. And here we have the ampersand because the last one is C editor. C is the first name. Editor is the last name. Then here you put the parentheses. And now look at this. We have E, capital E, lowercase d, lowercase s, period. Why do we have that? Here we have ED, here we have EDS, because ED means editor, EDS means editors, right? Comma, title of the book, and the title is italicized at the angle, just like being underlined. Then we have PP, because it's multiple pages, from what page to what page, period. What is the city of the book's publishing, and what is the publisher's name? Woo, complicated, right? Clear that off there. Here, here's another example. Here's the author, last name, first name, middle name, and author, last name, first, last, <laughs> last name, first name, middle name. Here is the year. Here is the title of the chapter, and it's inside a book, and that book is by the editor and this two editors, A editor and B editor. They're the editors title of the book, from page to what page, and then retrieved from. So here we have the end, just like normal, but now instead of having location and publisher, we're going to have the URL, the web page, where it comes from. Ooh, okay, it's kind of like blowing my mind already, and we just began. This is just the beginning. And it's easy, I think, to look at it and say, this doesn't make a whole lot of sense, and I won't disagree with you. One more thing we could do is DOI. So same thing all over again, only now we're going to have the document object identifier at the end rather than the URL, rather than the city and the publisher's name. Okay, great. So we're making some progress, I think. <laughs>